Oh, Legend of Zelda now. Awesome. This is pretty cool. This is one NES game I'd love to play through sometime, but I'd first like to be able to beat it myself. Uh, the actual version I'm talking about. I have beaten this. Alright. I don't want to use my rage yet. Let's get that map, shall we? Oh, oh good. Let's just run. Oh, come on. Come on. At me, bro. You mad, bro? Ooh, Metroid things. That's cool. Yeah, we have the little ladder step walk thing that Link always has to get through stuff. I don't know! Alright, let's just go. I am not going to comment on the, d the, the layout of this dungeon. So, you shouldn't either. I do something that I want to do, I have in mind for this, actually. I just want to try something in, the, in a few, in a, one of the rooms coming up. Shy guys. Is it this room? I think it is. No, it's the next room. Ah, of course. If you go near him, he will inflate you, and you'll have to wander around and hope, try not to get hit by anything of the enemies that'll spawn there. Otherwise, you'll like pop. That's from Dig Dug, if you didn't know. Another game I definitely want to play sometime. Ooh, a secret. Hey, it's Toad. Sorry, Bobo. Ah! Oh! I guess the princess was in another castle. Okay. That's kind of weird. Disturbing. Ah, these guys are back. Don't care. One thing I have to say about this dungeon is it's kind of annoying is a lot of backtracking. Like, a lot of backtracking. A little bit of health there, that's good. I'm gonna get my rage up enough before I get back to uh, our friend here. Nope. I'll show off what happens when you try to attack him. Actually, you can't attack without him blowing you up. Okay. I didn't realize you could. Dig Dugger. Diggity Dugger. Dig Bro. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. I don't know! Okay, don't judge me. You should, if you live, if you like classic gaming, this is definitely a game you want to play. You don't want to miss out on. The whole entire thing is basically just a tribute to the NES that glory days. Ha. Okay. Oh. The old man hates beef. Ha. You killed him. Oh dear. It's a bomb. Ow. Careful about dying in here. You'll start back at the entrance to the dungeon, generally speaking. I think. I mean, I think there was another place you could also start, but it'll most likely be the entrance to the dungeon. Tektites. Nice. 
or tech tykes. <laughs> All right. If I get to that key before dying, I'd be a happy person. All right. Let's just get that key. If I die, I think I should still have it when I respawn. Can I kill you guys? Can I get some health? Nope. Sad face. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, we're just running around through here. It's kind of a longer level, but I don't know. I like it. These guys are all back, apparently. Health would be nice about now. <laughs> Aha! Tea bag. Okay. I'm kidding. All right. Um. Let's go this way now. And get ourselves a compass. Wow, it's at the tip of the map. Shock. Aww. Whatever. We'll just spawn right here. Now, if we run out of lives, it sticks get through the whole level over again, and this level is really long. We gotta fight a man handler. Ah. Ah, oh, come on. down here. Ooh. The old man doesn't like beef or something. I recall that was being said at some point. What does that mean? But anyway, we have beef now, so fire beef blazers. Or you not, because he's a bomb right when you enter the door. Jerk. Alright, up here, let's go in and we get ghosts. And we get keys from ghosts. Ah, I thought you were dead. Alright. Let's go this way. It's Aquamentus. Well, we can't get through that door, so let's keep going, I guess. Alright. There's actually nothing in this room, and killing all these guys is absolutely nothing, so I'm not sure what the point of this room is. There's just like a secret hidden here? I don't think there is. When you kill the little guy, will eventually stop and I'll kill him, and nothing will happen. Please stop. Yeah, see, nothing. I don't know. Flurries. Aw, I don't like flurries. I don't want to kill them. And these ghosts respond like jerks. Alright, let's see what's in this final room. Whoa, it's the old man who gives me the sword, and he has crazy power from these fort she's a, a shield from these. Let's destroy them. Oh, you can attack him. Don't get hit by that, you'll turn into a slug a snail.
Ah, oh, darn it. Your defense is also really bad when you're a snail. Not to mention you're really slow. Attack him from the front for the last hit, because he's going to split to three. Ugh. Darn it! Luckily we appear right before the boss, so that's good. We have to fight him all over again. But once you know what to let's do, he's not that hard. Ah, oh, kidding me? That's a jerk. I guess my defense doesn't actually change much. It just seems like I just suddenly lost like half my health. Oh, get me out of here. Oh dear. Come on. I guess he has to be the only one. The other ones are both dead. I don't think it matters. I think it's just the last one is always... Just means he's dead and he gets... Giantified. Don't bother raging. It does absolutely nothing on bosses. at me, bro. Just for lols. It does nothing. I forgot to show what it looks like when you're in the Link style. Ooh. Meat spin. I'm disturbed. Let's go. Uh, my inventory is kind of weird. I have my meat, my sword, the dead somebody's dead head, a f cheap cheap mm, Samus with Metroid, it's a pill, Pac-Man, and I guess that shit pickle from Angry Video Game Nerd. And we just ate the Triforce, not the Pie Force. You're so stupid, a Bobo. Oh no. No. Help.